his first signing of the summer. But a side that are seen as the underdogs, you need to look at players that can find the back of the net with limited chances sometimes. And Alfie Rutherford, for me, is going to be that player. It's just great at this level, Adam, to see the stories for both sides. One on the up and then one coming down, but then all of a sudden with a new takeover from Oldham, an air of optimism in the, the fans in here. We're absolutely excited about the four years when he was appointed in January. Agreed a new contract in April until June of next year. Nice back heel by Phil Pot, but well read and intercepted, and here come Alden. It's well played by Tonic. Looking to get forward in numbers here. Burgess played it wide. Players arriving on the edge of the box here. It's over towards Hope, and Moore was there to tidy up for Dorking Wanderers. It's a teasing ball in there, it really was. Either one of these sides, Burgess, stops, it's floated in dangerously, it's a great header and that's a fantastic chance that really told it. Good movement here from Francis. Angle, but it's won back here by Dorking Wanderers. It is an open start to this contest, isn't it? Which is just over five minutes old. McManus a long way forward. Was he caught there by Hogan? The referee felt not getting right now for the Latix. It's been well intercepted and they could be in trouble here. Dorking Wanderers, they're stretched and it's Tonic. He's got hope to his left and it's hope to finish it! We talk about playing in your own half, but you're playing in certain areas where you're going to get caught if you give away the ball. And Luke Moore on this occasion was the player and the culprit. It's given away cheaply. Rutherford has made the run to the right. This is Seager and now Rutherford. It's a good block. Needed to be as well from Liam Hogan. Captain steps in and makes a really, really important challenge. I don't think maybe that would have maybe squeezed into that bottom corner. Taylor to take it. It's good ball back into the box. And they're causing problems here, Dorking Wanderers. It's Taylor onto his favourite left foot. Goalkeeper saw that late and just pushed it away in the nick of time there. Matt. You could parry it away from goal because you've got Rutherford following, you've got Seeger following in as well. It's a quality save. Pressure here coming from Dorking Wanderers as they seek an equaliser. Cleared on the volley by the captain, Hogan. It's Taylor again here now for Dorking Wanderers. Great efforts! Almost an equaliser, and it was that man there! Well, Mark White said that if there were 200... Do the goalkeeper stayed on his line, and the header over the bar from Hogan for, with the ball back. Tollett really is a talented player for this level. And there's his shot, and it's been pushed out to Porter! Offside flag is up, it won't count from Porter. They may find themselves slightly fortunate at Dorking because the parry there from Hutt wasn't necessarily a good one, but you have to say it's a good decision from the linesman. Just shades offside. The campaign he had Rutherford, the number 10, 32 goals. Taylor drifting inside and it opened up for the shot. It's pushed away by Norman. As they've given possession away cheaply, Oldham, and you just wonder whether they're eventually going to be punished for it as Dorking were at the other end. Here's Taylor again looking to drift inside onto his right foot and watch wide by Norman. Well, again, he's got inside Adam and there's no challenge coming in towards him. Poorly given away in that midfield. It's the balance when they lose the ball and when to go and press. And at the moment, they're just miles off the pace. At the moment. So now he's There's so much potential here at Oldham. They could make it two here with Hope, who's in again. Can he find the finish once more? It's wide this time. Really good squad that was. Hope for the future now at this club after the takeover. Here's Philpott. 
the equalised before half time. That was a great cross, and Hogan had to take evasive action. That's a great header, it really is. I say it's a goal saving header as well. There's a chance this is someone like Luke Moore to take responsibility. You've got Taylor as well, we've got that left foot of his who can maybe get up and over the wall. They certainly have good options to take this chance and opportunity. See Magnus Norman produce a few good saves in this first half, two in particular from Bobby Joe Taylor, and Taylor is one of those eyeing this up. Moore is there too. It is Taylor! That's too far away. Unlucky, really unlucky there. Hold out by Norman. Here come the Latics. Burgess. And Porter gets involved and Hope's waiting in the middle. He didn't need it. Class finish that by Chris Porter. The fans will come back and be loyal yet again. Again, you're talking about fifth tier of football with another big bumper crowd in. That's a really nice touch to find Taylor again. It's a great ball into. And it had Seeger arriving in on that. It was Rutherford who was involved in the build. Another player that could take this one on. Cooper's there as well. It's Cooper to the left, Burgess to the right. Burgess has had one from this sort of range. It's Cooper this time. And he'll get a second opportunity. Plays the pass instead. Fond ops at the far post. It's the shot instead, and it's a fantastic goal. It's the best of the day so far. And it's been, well, probably one of the best players on the pitch who scored. So Taylor to swing this in. Quality delivery that, and the header isn't too far wide. It's a really good ball into the box, and it was Josh Taylor on the end of it. Could have been their best chance of this second half so far. Half a chance more than anything. Just comes off the shoulder. Taylor searching cross and they've got the goal that their performance deserves. Well taken head of that by Josh Taylor. A fantastic cross to pick him out. And even the most ardent of Oldham fan surely wouldn't deny Dorking Wanderers there. Yeah, I'd say they deserve the goal. It's just a shame for his side that it was 3 0 at the time, but they've kept to their principles, they kept with their purposes. And Taylor is putting an absolute beauty of a ball into a real dangerous area. It's a quality header, really is there. From Josh Taylor. Controlled it into the bottom. Josh Taylor. So has a job as a scout for a USA soccer scholarship agency. Oh, they've got another one! Oh, how about this? Rutherford this time. The top scorer in National League South last season has made things very interesting now. Another cross from the left, and that's a towering header. Well, well, well. When you're comfortable in a game, and then all of a sudden this happens, and again, it's Bobby Joe Taylor. Take a bow, because that's an absolutely brilliant ball in there. Brother that just goes and attacks it. Maybe Sharon gets a touch on Jack Jeb will take it. And this is a great chance. Yeah. Does he go goalkeeper sides? Can he find an equaliser here? It's Jeb, the substitutes. And he couldn't hit the target. I suspect that won't be their last chance, though. Frustrating. Really, really frustrating then. So it's a good distance up and over the wall. Maybe felt you go goalkeeper sides. Who knows that's a chance? They were called the great entertainers in National League South, Adam. A real, real good performance. All eyes on the referee. They want the final whistle at Boundary Park, and they get it. Their first win of the season.